So Hobbin Dodd is a small business. We've been going for almost 10 years now, and we work with a group of farmers across the UK to produce a whole range of arable crops. So those are crops that are harvested once a year, usually with a combine, and include things like beans, peas, and cereals, but also more unusual crops like chia and quinoa. Hodmadod grew out of a community project in Norwich, which asked the question, can a city the size of Norwich feed itself? And if it did, how would that have to change what we eat and how we grow what we eat? And one of the key things that came out of that for us was that we need to be eating more vegetable proteins, principally those that come from uh, leguminous crops. So those are crops that fix nitrogen into the soil, build soil organic matter, but also produce protein. So they're good for us, they're good for the soil, and they mean that we are less dependent on those animal products that come from more conventional farming systems. We sell a very wide range of products, so mostly we're dealing with whole pulses and whole grains. We also mill some of them, uh, so we do pea and bean flours, we do wheat and cereal flours. Um, we put things in cans. We work with one of the only small-scale uh, organic canners left in the UK, who are actually based in Manchester. Uh, and so they can our, our peas and our beans for us and do a dal. Um, we also produce snacks, so ready-to-eat, quick products, which are a really good kind of entry level into eating more beans and peas, which we think everyone should be doing. And doing that in the form of snacking is quite an easy way. Um, and beyond that, we probably have 40 or 50 different, different products that we're dealing with any given time. So here we are in the Hobmadod mill house, where a lot of the grains that are grown on the farms for us are then milled into flour. And this is our beautiful, modern, new American stone mill, but using a very traditional technique. So it's got big granite stones here, which, um, which reduce the heat and the stress that the grains go under to produce really nutritionally rich um, flours. And we've got some here, some organic YQ, which is yield and quality. It's a population wheat developed at Wakelands Agroforestry, just down the road. And it's a cereal that's now grown all over the UK. The big difference uh, that people would notice is the flavor. And that is, of course, the difference that everyone's looking for. Um, these grains have a really rich, dense, intense flavor to them. Uh, modern varieties are grown for yield. And that is the most important thing. What return are you going to get for your, for your tonnage? Whereas we're growing for quality, and quality is how well it bakes and how well it tastes. There's always a big question about where to begin with unfamiliar foods. And I think one of the easiest starting points is to go for straightforward substitution. If you like using chickpeas, for example, in your curries, why not move to uh, a carlin pea, which is the UK equivalent, in our view, and it's very similar in the way it cooks and eats. And the same with flours. If you've got a favorite bread recipe, begin just with a straight substitution for one of these more unusual flours. Maybe cook them side by side and see how different they taste. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it, it, is quite, it is quite a leap of faith and of confidence often to, to change what you're eating and what you're cooking with. But I think, and certainly we find, when people make that change, they really enjoy it and they come back for more. We've probably been working with Organic North for six or seven years, uh, and we love it. They're incredibly easy to deal with, they're very friendly. Uh, it feels like they have an excellent relationship with all their customers. You sometimes contact us directly to ask questions, but we know they'll always go back to Organic North because they've got that fantastic relationship going on. So, yeah, they're a pleasure to deal with. They know what they want. They want good quality organic pulses and cereals, and we know we can supply that, and it works brilliantly. <laughs>